What's gonna happen next? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna learn? That's why. Despite it all, her husband remains supportive of Taslima's desire to drive. I'm very proud, yes, and she done very well. So I told her, carry on driving, because we need a car. But she needs to take some time to think about her future on the road. Zaida anxiously waits for Tasmia's return. She failed her test. A few days later, Zaida goes to find out what went wrong. We had 13 minor faults. Yeah. Okay, and three serious faults. The left reverse, that was your first serious fault. Yeah, and then that's how I gave up after that. Did you give up after that? Yeah. So your other two faults were because you did the left reverse wrong. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we practiced the left reverse. You after, did it wrong after you that, that my legs were proper shaking, and you know, and because I, I knew I failed, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you passed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. What we'll do, Tasmia, then, just on the faults that you've got on, on your DL25, we'll work on the faults, and then I'll just book you another test because you're looking at around about six to seven weeks before you can get another test anyway. Was it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look on the bright side. You get to spend more time with me. <laughs> <laughs> For now, the tailor-made Qureshi Pass certificate is on hold. So that's what she will be getting. To give her more test experience, Zaida has asked husband Khalid to act as examiner for a mock test. Good luck, and I'll see you Thursday. And if you need to speak, to it's a chance to iron out any remaining problems before she takes her test again. Drive on, please, when you're ready. And from the end of the road, I want you to turn left, please. The young people are quicker to teach. And young males, they are even quicker to teach. They, they get the hangs of things quicker than, than some people. If you can pull up on the left, please, on a safe place. OK. I'd like you to drive on again, please, when you're ready. Right. If you put, say, say, two lads for the driving test, first timers, and two girls for the part, I can, um, I can um, believe if someone said to me, both of the lads passed first time and only one of the girls passed first time. I, I would believe that. Stop. Yeah. I think they tend to get nervous now. <laughs> the, the yeah, because, because I think the, the, uh, the boys are better to, to deal, to handle the machinery, the vehicle. Tasmir's driving has done nothing to challenge Khalid's beliefs that men are quicker learners. So, I'm sorry to say that you haven't passed the mock mm -hmm. test, okay? And uh, you've got uh, three serious faults. Oh my God. Okay. And uh, 16 minor faults. Yeah, okay. And again, good luck for the, with the real test. She's only got a few weeks until her next test. Got two things, you know. Arifa's plans to leave Blackburn are still stalling. It's just the fact that I am not getting it is something that I can't kind of quite easily comprehend. Which where, where will you position the car? On the, on the right first and no, then? on the left. On the left. A, a lot of youngsters drive and I'm 24 and I still don't know, yet I have a degree. So it's, it's kind of a bit bizarre that yet I can't comprehend something that's so simple, yet I can, you know, look, in, look at a building and kind of critique it quite well. I feel it's like a chore rather than something kind of quite in enjoyable. For the time being, this high flyer may have to admit defeat. I didn't anticipate kind of the, the kind of patience that you need with it and 
the fact that it's a completely new thing, I just assumed that I would, I just kind of get it over and done with. People think driving is easy, but it's not as easy as it looks when you're just watching somebody. For now, it looks as though Arifa's escape from Blackburn and the prying eyes of the locals will be on the train. Taslima has decided to carry on driving, but this time with a new female instructor. Sometimes they prefer female instructors, so they're more comfortable with them. They, could they can open talk up more. a bit more and talk. Yeah, that could be but a reason. With the male, I wouldn't feel as much open teaching male than yeah. women because I feel more comfortable teaching women. I would be a bit nervous with men. <laughs> my husband happy for me, and my husband let me to do it. And I don't care about anybody says and how I'm happy. And my husband let me to drive, and I'm driving because my husband says drive, and I'm learning with my husband support, and I'm gonna pass my test. She's already making plans for life after L plates. I'm gonna buy the car, take my grandchildren outside anywhere they want to go. And the grandkids are making plans for the car they'll be driven in. Mini Cooper. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at it there, I kitted up everything on it. <laughs> I know what you could get, an ice cream truck, so then we could all eat free ice cream. Hopefully, days out with the grandkids won't be on foot for much longer. After almost a year, 50 lessons and two fails, Tasmia has not given up. It's the day of her next test. Will it be third time lucky? I've just passed the test. This difficult. It's great, isn't it? We're so happy today, yeah. To celebrate, she takes either out. And the famous Qureshi Pass certificate is awarded to another proud woman driver. She's a lovely girl and a hard worker, and I admire people like that. And I'll actually miss her when she goes. <laughs> Next week, Samia's finally ready to take a driving test, even if it's only a practice one. Any questions for me before we set off? I've got a problem. I don't know my rights and lefts properly. Driving instructor Corsa hopes that going on Hajj will bring her husband Raz back on the straight and narrow. I'm excited. It'll give me a chance to clean myself up, come back as a better person. Salma is optimistic that her pupil Imrana will pass her test at the first time of asking. She's a good driver. She's got an excellent chance. I'm hoping that she passes first time round. And find out next Tuesday at 10 here on BBC Two in the last episode of the Muslim Driving School. Hello, I'm Charlie Brooker. And you know what? I'm on the other side. The other side being BBC4. Right now it's about to start, if it hasn't started already. Just switch over, it's Newswipe with me in it. It's better than I'm making out. It might be Ronnie. Phil could say commit murder. Max does have that evil side. Ian's a wuss. Grant, Bradley, also Jack. Janine has the personality traits. Lucy. Find out live. EastEnders, February 19th on BBC One. Saturday across the BBC.
Emily Maitlis with Newsnight now on BBC Two, which contains language which some viewers may find.